Hello and welcome to Wake Up and Smell the Mic S&P 500 Review for Thursday, April 6th, 2023. It's now 5.58 a.m. Central Time. We start off in the S&P 500 daily chart into Mark looking back to end of December 2021. I'll zoom into the current area now. The S&P 500 daily chart has printed the combo and sequential cell setup 7 count. And to negate that for end of day today on the 6th, there must be a close below 4109.31 for the price flip to the buy setup count 1. Price in the pre-market hours for the S&P 500 is 40.91. So this entire sell setup count could disappear today. And have the price flip if it doesn't close above this close here and that would be monumental and there is a lot of resistance in the way this is a line at 41.46.52 then there's the buy TDST but it could make it up to the line and still get the sell setup count Eight for today by staying above that close and then tomorrow we'll take it one day at a time it needs to really take a jump get up to 41.24.51 a close above this ongoing supply line for end of day today would qualify that same thing with the demand line close below that for end of day today will qualify that level. I think we'll keep a close tab on the Atlas of indexes, the NDX high low holding up the entire world here. First we'll look at the high low index itself in dotted blue here, still just in stall mode going sideways. You could see there was a little bit of a sideways stall here and then it had a leg up. Let's see if it can do it the same as the 5 EMA in blue, 10 in red, and 21 in gold are looking mighty fine there. Rock 12 actually hooked around and started heading back up. The short term KST is, has still rolled over and is under the signal line here. Intermediate term KST is looking good still and now the long term KST has halted its downward trajectory. Went sideways for yesterday. Let's see if that can hook around and head up and Atlas will continue being the pillar of strength. The S&P 500 support and resistance levels big board chart shows the gray areas at R1 and the pivot point. Price in the pre-market hours for the S&P 500 at 6.44 a.m. Central Time is 40.92. So to the upside, weekly high channel 3 and R2. And to the immediate downside, baseline 26 bars back concerning the lagging line, S2, S1, daily horizontal support from 0407 2021. You would think that that could be pretty good support. And the Rock 1 and ATR2 are still in their green zones about the fifth day in a row that's a record for the last year and a half two years I believe and the PPO extreme is still above zero at 2.32 percent above zero and the New York traditional McClellan breath oscillator to get back to zero would require 1436 decliners over advancers to get back to zero have a great day.